Topics and there are new calls for the Church of Scientology to have its tax-free charity status revoked. Independent Senator Nick Xenophon is concerned about allegations in a damning new documentary and has called for an urgent review of its registration. Senator Xenophon joins us now. Senator, good morning. Good morning. What is your biggest concern um, about Scientology being registered as a charity? Well, it's registered as a charity because it's registered, it's uh, classified as a religion. There was a High Court decision back in 1983 that says that it has a tax-free status, but there are a number of associated entities where the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profit Commission could actually look at their books uh, and make them more accountable. There's just been this documentary, Going Clear, in the US that has had a number of damning allegations about the Church of Scientology. The Australian operations are a, are a branch of that, in a sense, and all I'm saying to the Commissioner uh, to do with charities is have a close look at these allegations. If they apply here in Australia, then there are more questions that need to be asked about their tax-free status because effectively all of us as taxpayers uh, fund these tax-free organisations and they need to be accountable. So what are those allegations that are made in the doco, Nick? Well, there are allegations, there are allegations that relate to uh, effectively uh, uh, bl blackmailing of some of their uh, celebrity... Um, uh, their, their celebrity Scientologists, uh, including John Travolta. There are allegations about the way that they have uh, spied on people. There are allegations in terms of uh, unethical and potentially unlawful behaviour in terms of the way they conduct their uh, operations. Uh, it's quite damning and I think it's it's best for the Commissioner, uh, for the a ACNC, to look at that closely as to whether some of the associated entities of Scientology should at least show cause, uh, should indicate whether they are uh, uh, complying fully with Australian law and whether they're in any way involved with some of these activities overseas. Senator, I find it strange that they're called a, a charity in the first place. I mean, they call themselves a church. Mm. Um, and really, most people think they're a cult. But I wonder, mm. uh, do other churches in Australia, like the Anglican Church, the Presbyterian Church, the Catholic Church, do they have charity status? Yes, they do. If uh, Under the Constitution, if you're a, uh, classified as a religion, then you get tax-free status. And I think that's fair enough. But with that should come some responsibility in terms of some openness, some transparency, to show, as they do in the UK, that you have to show that what you do overall is there's a public benefit, that what you do, you're doing more good than harm. Uh, and I've met enough victims of the Church of Scientology here in Australia uh, to have some serious concerns about the level of harm they cause to individuals that can be caught up in, in cult-like activities. Mm. Because, Senator, give us some of those examples, because for some time you have been involved with mm. trying to investigate the Church of Scientology, haven't you? And there was a Senate inquiry several years ago in the context of the Tax Act, and we heard some pretty um, alarming evidence. I mean, there are people that have lost their life savings who felt pressured into uh, buying courses uh, with the Church of Scientology, where people describe being almost like slave-like labour, uh, working for the, the elite Scientology organisations. Uh, one terrible allegation of a woman who said that she was coerced into an abortion, a uh, very serious allegation. These are all sorts of issues that need to be looked at very closely. And I don't have an issue with what people believe in. I think that it's a free country, freedom of religion, freedom of belief is fundamental in Australia. But behaviour is a separate issue. If you are behaving badly and you're getting a tax-free status, then I don't think, you know, you can be doing both. There are countries in the world, Nick, including Germany, that don't recognise Scientology as a religion. They see it more as a cult and so they don't mm. have the tax-free status. It's a grey area when you're sort of talking about it in those uh, sort of areas, isn't it? It is a very grey area and in the UK they don't have tax-free status because they didn't pass the test of public benefit. In France, what I'd like to see is what they have in France, they have a cult-busting organisation. So if people are caught up in a cult, if people are vulnerable with their psychological duress, uh, then there's an organisation that act actually helps those individuals and they've been very effective in taking on Scientology and other uh, cult-like behaviours in France. So I think we actually need to have a, a cult busting agency in this country that can give the support that people need when they're caught up in these organisations. It'll be very interesting to see how all of this unfolds. Senator Nick Xenophon, thank you very much for your time this morning. Pleasure. We really appreciate it. Thanks. A bit of feedback that's coming in on this topic from you guys at home. Let's have a look. This from Kim. A charity should help others outside members' beliefs. If not, deregister ASAP. Very good point. And then there's this from Jason Green. How about revoking all churches' tax exemptions? Mm.
He means exemptions. Their profits are obscene. Mm, oh, a lot of churches do a lot of good for a lot of people. I wouldn't suggest that. And this one uh, as well. Next step, separate the profitable business income section of the church from the standard church income and tax that as well.